This is not my usual sign, but it's special for today. My name's Carrie, and uh, I'm here tonight. Well, I've been coming for about two weeks now, but I'm here specifically tonight to try to prep people for whatever is coming tomorrow. We're not really sure, but I think there's a lot of um, nervousness and apprehension about the potential conflicts that could happen with the NYPD and um, under Bloomberg's orders tomorrow to try to clear us out of here. And I just wanted to kind of reassure everybody and let them know that it's going to be okay no matter what happens, as long as we stay peaceful and resolute. And uh, that way we have to win. Um, we have a sanitation working group that's been working to keep the park clean since we got here. And they've been doing a good job. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm a protester. Like, they've actually been doing a good job. If anything, the uh, the city and Brookfield has been really working against them to try to prevent them from keeping it clean. Um, but they've been doing an admirable job and, I mean, everybody knows it's not really about sanitation. Everybody knows that, even people on the outside. I don't, I don't think they're fooling anybody, so um, I think that's why there's the apprehension because, you know, Bloomberg has said, oh, don't worry, we'll let you back in, but you can't bring tents. Uh, and you can't bring tarps and you can't bring sleeping bags and no laying down so basically like don't do anything that you've been doing for the last couple weeks um, and I'm sorry but thinking people can see straight through that BS so um, we're not going anywhere and uh, and I hope that tomorrow nothing happens but if something happens then I hope it's peaceful that's just my main hope. Very good. Do you have uh, one final word you'd like to say to everybody watching this right now? I would. I have, I have many words, but uh, I guess if I have to pick one thing, well, it's... You can, you can pick all of them if you oh, want Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll discuss some of the other reasons that I've been coming down here, because today is a special day, but um, I've been coming down here, you know, for the same reasons that everybody else has, to, to address the vast inequalities of wealth and power in our country. Um, but also to show that this, there's this misconception out there that we don't have any real ideas, like what are we standing for? I hear a lot of that criticism in the media. And you know what, I've been here, I've been talking to people, there are some really good concrete ideas coming out of this. And we can make some real legislative change if we can focus this and gather a broader movement. Um, so I started a Twitter account called Occupy Ideas, and I've been encouraging people to tweet their hashtag concrete ideas um, as to how they think we should go forward with reform. Um, I've heard everything from um, bringing back the Glass-Steagall separation between commercial and uh, commercial commercial banks um, and investment banks. Uh, obviously, Citizens United is a big thing. Um, cutting back on military spending and investing it in our schools and infrastructure. I mean, these are real concrete ideas and people have been thinking about them for a long time. It's time to make it happen. Um, and to that end, I'm here also to encourage my fellow protesters to vote. And not just vote in presidential elections, but in every election, in every primary, in every midterm election, and to hound their representatives in between elections to let them know that we're watching we're paying attention and we're going to hold them accountable because the, you know the right has all this corporate money we're never going to compete can compete on a financial level with that because most of the people here are out of work or underemployed but we can compete with them in terms of votes we have more bodies and um, this is something that i think most americans can agree on that this the system really needs to change and it needs to happen soon because people are really suffering so if, I, if nothing else, I hope that all of the people here, particularly people of my generation, will walk away knowing that um, they need to be participatory in our democracy for it to work in our own favor. Right. And that's it. Thank you so much. You're welcome.